YouTube continues to demonetize many videos. If you like this channel, please click on my Patreon page. Link in the description. Hey gamers, this is John, host of Video Games in the World. We are living in an age where people purchase games, movies, clothes, and other stuff online. We all remember that with the rise of apps like Hulu and Netflix, Blockbuster closed down. Not too long ago, Toys R Us was closed after so many years. Now, there are talks about GameStop talking for a buyout. Nowadays, more people start buying video games on either Amazon or Steam, and with that, GameStop's video game sales have been declining since last year. Last year, GameStop closed over 150 stores across the nation, and now GameStop seems to be holding talks with private equity firms about a potential buyout transaction after receiving interest in its share price very recently. Some of my friends work at GameStop or are still working there. However, there are people who would say that it's not worth working there for a lot of reasons, and such as co the coat dress and all these other things. That I know because I applied in various times to work there, but no luck. Some ex-employees would tell me that it's just not wor worth working there because of these reasons. Now, I bought my Wii there a decade ago at GameStop, my PS3 eight years ago, and most of my games as well. Not to forget that I would constantly hang out to see, hang out there to see what's new. I pre-ordered games and used my rewards card, but then after a while I started to feel more comfortable purchasing games online. And some games on the PS3 and PS4 I purchased on the PSN, on Amazon, and PC games on Steam as well. It turns out that GameStop is just not the, vi the big video game sales company that it once was. Over the past few years, especially during last year, GameStop stock has gradually gone down more than 32%, which brought its market capitalization from about $9.4 billion in 2007 to $1.42 billion in 2018. Wow. On Monday, though, GameStop shares went up almost 13% to $15.78, which indicates a possible buyout of the company. As a buyout will allow investors to cash out their holdings, GameStop has also recently hired a financial advisor who may possibly be assisting in buyout negotiations after its former CEO, Michael Mahler, resigned for personal reasons in May. Sycamore Partners is one of the, the private equity firms that has expressed interest in GameStop, but there is no concrete evidence or information from GameStop or Sycamore that it will be buying the video game sales franchise. The future sure looks uncertain for GameStop at the moment, and a buyout could save the company from its gradual decline. It will also mean that radical restructuring of the company's operation may take place such as layoffs or liquidating of assets or staff to help pay back the new creditors. GameStop has been trying out various strategies in the past year in order to make up for the lack of physical video game sales such as the introduction of a rental game program. But it turns out that it do so good with it either. Hopefully to those loyal to the company, GameStop can make it through an uncertain period of time. And that SSA is that, ladies and gentlemen. Comment, share, rate, and subscribe. This is John, host of Video Games in the World. Have a good one. Bye-bye.